We're actually just here in Cochrane right now. We're gonna meet up with some clients of ours to take them out on some back roads to do some light off-roading. So it's part of the Scott Subaru Wilderness Adventure Club. We figured it'd be kind of fun to take some of our customers out that have never done anything like this, have no experience doing this, and really didn't know where to go or what to do. We're going to see a couple 2022, 2023 Wilderness Outbacks coming out. As long as you have a Wilderness Outback or Wilderness Forester or soon to be Wilderness Crosstrek, just reach out to us at Scott Subaru and we'll get you signed up. If you guys need a spot for anything, just come on the radio. If you have any questions during that time as well, just come on the radio. This trail's not like Rubicon Trail or yeah. anything. We're not doing like... <laughs> It's not super crazy. There will be some features you can do if you want to, or you can go around them. Yeah. And if there's something that might be difficult to get over, like I said, I'll be at the front, or Chase and I will be at the front, and we'll help you get through it and make sure nothing happens. Talking to a lot of customers, I, I find a lot of our customers are kind of in the same spot I was quite a few years ago when I had my first Outback that I want to get out, I want to explore, I want to just see more than just Banff, Canmore, like the, the stuff that we most people hear about. Um, and that's how I kind of met Austin and uh, yeah, they found out there's way more to explore around here. So, but yeah, the whole point is, hey, let's have some fun. Once we get to the lake, then we can chill, have some lunch. And then from that point on, if somebody wants to like go down another trail or keep exploring, we can, we can take you. So we just stopped just to make sure everybody could actually hear us on the radio. We had, we had one of our customers that couldn't hear us. So just did a quick pit stop, radio check, and we'll be on our way. So what we'll do is probably go down to 30 for now. Really? Um, and then we will see how it looks. And you can tell kind of like where it's wearing on the tire, like how much it's compressing down. And then that will tell you kind of if you can let out more or less. Go try for 30 and see how that goes. And what does that do for the clearance? Um, so it does reduce the clearance a little bit, um, but you're losing a couple, like a quarter of an inch or a couple centimeters. Okay. for a lot more grip. So we're at our first little spot where uh, now where I guess the technically the trail actually does begin. Uh, so we told our customers now it's time to engage X mode. Uh, we're going to radio and go one at a time just because it kind of does go up a hill and does crest down so you can't really see in certain spots. So we just want to make sure we're all safe. Uh, but yeah, I think everybody's having fun so far. As we venture into the captivating Alberta wilderness, these first-time off-roaders in the Wilderness Edition Outbacks tackle unfamiliar terrain with confidence. We're incredibly grateful to have Austin and his skilled team from Flat 4 Off-Road in Calgary, Alberta, along with us providing expert guidance and support during this thrilling experience. With the use of traction boards and an incredibly powerful X mode, the Wilderness Adventure Club conquered obstacles while learning just how capable these vehicles are. Exploring the 
great outdoors with great partners like Flat 4 Off-Road has definitely ignited the spark of adventure within the group. Looks scary, but I think scary, you can do it. Yeah, I yeah. think you can do it. My name's Shelly. I was transitioning from a work vehicle, a van, and I wanted to retire, and I needed something to have some fun in. And I researched a bunch of vehicles, and this is what I came up with. What impressed you the most on the trail today with the Outback? The X mode. The X -Mode? For sure, I never had used that yet, and it was like amazing. Was there any time that uh, on the trail that you're like, I don't know if the, if I'm going to make it? No, 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 I was confident. I was confident in my leaders. <laughs> do you think you would do this again? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Perfect. for sure. Good group of people. My name is Aura. I bought a WR Rex before from Subaru and I really liked the car. So I told him uh, just basically, if you want to buy a new car, go with Subaru because they're really good. I feel like it's a great balance between uh, street and you can take it off-roading so it's really good for adventure of course the new model is pretty good nice good? good looking was there any times on the trail that you're like i don't think this car is going to make it no it's full confidence i'm the one driving it and uh, it's really 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 strong and uh, it's capable that's what it is so the history of uh, off-roading uh, this is the first time yeah it's the first time so it's a little bit nervous but uh, it's yeah. been nice so far. We really enjoyed it. You think you'd do it again? Of course. Of course, yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> Might buy another one then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so far, uh, just wheel tires and just uh, a spacer lift kit. Mm -hmm. uh, it came with the springs as well. And the tire carrier and uh, the hitch. And that's all that we've done to it so far. Awesome. Uh, you only got the car for like three, four, four months. Four months, I think. Yeah, so. Just uh, last January. We're looking to add to it. <laughs> What made you guys get a Wilderness Outback? He was worried my 2001 Subaru Outback was gonna break down. Okay. Yep. Which right. it has not. <laughs> oh, perfect, even better <laughs> still. How'd you guys find the trail right here? Yeah, excellent. Yeah, it was, it was wonderful. Everything what, yeah, we wanted. Perfect. Was there any parts of the trail or anything, any times you guys were like, no, I don't think this is gonna make it? No, because no. you guys told us it would. Yeah. Was there anything that impressed you the most about the, the Outback? So the best thing I think I found was the, the descent, mm. coming down the steep grade and not holding the brake. It did all the work and I just, my foot just hovered and down we came. I didn't have to do any work. What's one of your favorite features on the Outback? Hmm. I don't know if you can sum it up. Yeah, I don't think we have a favorite. As a package, I think it's a pretty good unit. Awesome. And do you think you guys would do this again? Absolutely. Oh, yes. So we actually had three Wilderness Outbacks come out today. One did have a bit of a suspension lift on it. The other two were actually bone stock. I think it exceeded their expectations, which I'm really happy about. Coming home at the end of the day and having customers happy, that's really all that kind of mattered and they had a blast. Yeah.